So we are here in Welland Park, our favorite master plan community located in Venice, Florida, and all 20,000 acres of this community is golf cart friendly. And we are carting over to our favorite neighborhood in Welland Park to debut their brand new state-of-the-art $12 million amenity center located here in Everly. We are super excited about this neighborhood, the, the amenity center. They just finished that last week and opened it up. So we're gonna go check it out in depth. And then we're gonna look at all the four builders that are here and do a quick update on those. All right, hey, are you wondering what this vehicle is wearing today? Look it up, leave it in our comments and let us know what it is because it's a mystery machine to us, and, but we love it. So let's go check out the rest of this neighborhood. Let's go. All right, folks, we're standing in front of the beautiful state-of-the-art amenity center where they put $12 million from the inception of this build. They wanted to make sure when clients moved in that they had amenities fully accessible. I'll tell you what, most neighborhoods, they don't do that. They build out the neighborhood to about 50%, and then they start on the amenity center. In this neighborhood, those HOA fees you're gonna pay when you first buy your house, you're gonna get a return on it because you're gonna be able to use this amazing amenity center. That's right, but before we hop in and check out this amazing amenity center and all of its detail, we're gonna go learn a little bit about the four different builders that make up this beautiful neighborhood of Everly. And if it's your first time to the channel, Caleb and I are both local realtors here in the Venice, Florida and surrounding area, and we help buyers connect the dots and find their dream home. We help sellers tell the story of their home and move on to the next chapter. So if something in this video resonates, what do they have to do, Caleb? All you gotta do is give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we'd be happy to sit down with you. Hey. hey, it's the Corns. <laughs> hey, it's you two. <laughs> hey, good to see you. Hey, Gary. Hey, That's Alice. Scott. Good to hey, see you, Alice. Nice a live you. version. I've seen you guys for nine months on YouTube. I learned how to cook, kind of how to sew, and I found and bought a house from YouTube. That's right, see, folks, it works. That's right, these are the Corns. This is Gary and Alice. They're our yeah. clients and lifelong wow. friends. We help them make the trek all the way from Colorado here to beautiful Venice, Florida, in Welland Park, in this beautiful master plan community inside of Everly. All right, well, let's let them get over to the amenity center and continue wow. on with their day, and we're just going to get on to the rest of this video. Caleb in the near. All right, <laughs> thank you. We'll see you guys later. Let's go. All right, here we are. We are in front of West Bay. It's one. It's kind of the opening price point builder here. Their prices are going to range anywhere. I would say they start probably in the mid 900s. That's a completed home, most likely a quick move in. And then there, if you want to build it out, that you can build something really special and you're probably gonna top out at around the 1.6 million. The model we have right behind me is the Biscayne 2. The thing that we really love about this one is it has an incredible extended island. It's like a regular island plus a dining room table smashed into one, but it's a really cool concept that we really think that you're gonna love. Another thing that I love about this one is the incredible pool they have out back with that raised fire pit area, really a nice special place. That model, you can really do some cool stuff with it, but let's check out this second model that they have here, and that is the Gasparilla 2. Again, nice, big, open kitchen. One of the things that we really love about this one is they have that a really nice butler's pantry that's just kind of special. Other thing about this house that I really love is in the kitchen. They have this whole additional countertop that's more of like a service bar. They have two wine refrigerators in there. There's a fridge for the kids so you can just, it's like a side and or like a side bar almost that you can put that buffet when you have guests over. You can put in, you know, all that's where your cocktail station can be when you have a bunch of people. It's just really flexible floor plan. Again, another awesome outdoor space out there. All of these models, or both of these models, let me mention, you can get them as a second floor. You'll see it on these, the, what they have right here. It's a second floor, but you don't have to get that. You can get this model as a single floor as well. So that's West Bay. They're really good. Remember, they're gonna be that opening price point where you know the, the most affordable builder in Everly. So come on in, check them out. You'll be sure to love everything about West Bay. 
So here we are in front of Neo Signature. Neo Signature is another semi-custom home builder and we've absolutely grown to love their builds. Right behind me is that beautiful Palm Bay model. What truly stands out with the Palm Bay model are those exceptionally tall ceilings. It's a huge open floor plan with beautiful and timeless finishes that really make this home feel warm and cozy and it's absolute dream. When you go further into that build, you see that they have a really special room. They have an outdoor casita. It's an extra bed room with sliders that open up to that beautiful pool area gives you a separate guest space or a nightcap room but is an absolute special build we love it these prices now they're very reasonable considering what you're getting with these timeless pieces they're gonna range between 1.3 million upwards of that two and a half million certainly you can go higher if you pick out all the top of the line finishes but we love absolutely love Neil's signature. Now behind me what you're going to see is the Ravenna model. The Ravenna model is starting about 1.3 and we love this model. It's really an entertaining home. It's really centralized and focused and it has those corner pocket sliders that when you open them up it makes that space feel twice as large. Really gives you that quintessential indoor outdoor living and that backyard space is really cozy. The way it's situated makes you feel like you're open and exposed to the outdoor elements but but still feel warm and cozy like you're sitting inside of that house. So we absolutely love this build. It's a great opportunity to come down here, live in a home that's never gonna be dated, that's always gonna hold its value. We love Neil's signature, and let's go check out the other builders. All right, here we are in front of one of our favorite builders in this neighborhood. Might be the favorite, or there's another one that rivals it, and we're gonna check that out next. This is the Lee Weatherington, the builder. They had to do custom homes. Custom, that means that's very specific. The other two that we've seen before, they are semi-custom. You can modify their existing floor plans. With Lee Weatherington, you wanna put on a five car garage, as long as your lot fits it, they can do it. You wanna blow out that back and put on an in-law suite out there, they can do that, that's not a problem. This model behind me is the Haven model. It's priced right around $3 million if you wanted to build this home the way it looks. But it's a beautiful Polynesian coastal style home with an incredible open floor plan and that great kitchen that ties into the living space that you're going to absolutely love. It's an entertainer's dream. One of the things that I love about this home is they have, it's almost like its own in-law suite, maybe a guest area, but it has an incredible sunken living room. Sounds odd, you'll see it in the, the video, but it's a really cool uh, idea the way they did it so that the inside and outside can share that entertainment space, the big TV. You can see it all the way up from out on the pool. And it has an incredible pool complete with a waterfall that falls off of the roof and goes right down into that pool. It's a really special for sure. We love Lee Weatherington, no doubt. They just have great builds, great products, great models that you can base your, your your build off of if you want to use these models that they have here it's just as inspiration there's no need to like think that this is what I got to build when I come here you can go custom now behind me we have the Caravel model again that coastal style that this home finished the way it is blown out they, with all the upgrades that they have it's about a 2.5 million dollar home but it is light it is bright it has all of those coastal hues on the inside that you're sure you're gonna love one of the best features that I love is they have that water vapor fireplace. If you look at it quick and don't pay attention, it looks like there's a real fireplace going there. But the reality is it's just simply water vapor steam and some cool LED lights, but it has a really cool feature that, you know, it's, it's, it's a wow factor that you gotta see. One of the other things that they have in this home, they set it up this way, but it's an oyster and champagne room. So the back room, all the way up against that pool area on the very, very back of the house, they set it up. You could set it up as a bar. You could set it up as a wine tasting room. You could set it up as a, you know, a man's room, a game room, whatever you really wanted to. But they went with the oyster and champagne bar. And I tell you, it is really cool. When you slide outside through those, they have double corner zero or zero gravity doors that open up that you can really open up and have that inside outside living and then there's the incredible barbecue and pool area back there i'm telling you you're going to love this home and lee weatherington builds incredible homes that you're going to love you have to come down here and see them lee weatherington it's one for you so for our fourth builder, we have John Cannon. John Cannon, I absolutely love. It's a fully customizable builder. You may know them from the great neighborhoods up like Wild Blue 
up in that waterside district or the Founders Club or concession. All of the prestigious neighborhoods reserve lots for John Cannon because they really bring an amazing element to the neighborhood. I'm actually standing in front of the Warina model. This Warina model is an exceptional perfect example of John Cannon, that tra transitional style where they mix those modern elements with those classic timeless pieces. Now they use a lot of warm, beautiful tones that are kind of saturated together with those dramatic matte blacks that usually frame those windows that give you that dramatic feel without being too glaring. Now John Cannon, what I love most about this particular model is all of the beautiful floating shelves with the light treatments, the beautiful slatted wall and the ledge stone that is that takes up a nice part and focal point in that living room and of course with John Cannon you always have those classic kitchens with those signature windows that allow all of those elements to come from the outside in so you really feel that indoor outdoor living without having to leave the, the elements or having to be exposed to the outdoor elements but John Cannon is an absolute amazing builder their builds are going to start with around two million dollars and quite frankly the sky is the limit what you can dream of they can build whether it's here in Everly or if you have your own lot that you want to build in your own private enclave all you have to do is reach out to us and we'll put you in connection with this perfect builder and build you your dream home now let's head on over reason why we're here to go sneak peek that brand new amenity center which we're all super excited about so here we are in the beautiful amenity center in Everly in Welland Park and we're finally laying eyes on the fully fledged fully built out amenity center where they sunk $12 million into this beautiful place. Now, as soon as we walked in, the first thing I noticed were those beautiful tall cathedral ceilings with the wood beams. All of the different light tones and finishes really lends that farmhouse style transitional facade that you become accustomed to in this neighborhood. Doesn't matter which builder, it seems like they've all embraced that transitional look. But when you walk out here, it is absolutely grand. Also focused, as soon as I notice all of the different tiling and the focus, the transition with the shell stone tiles to reflect that light, but then they bring in a little bit of a more brown hues so it's not overwhelming, it's not blinding. Very thoughtful move and on their part. And as soon as you walk around, you notice the mature trees, this beautiful focused walkway, that beautiful and exceptional entrance into that pool, which we'll get closer eye in a little bit. But you walk in this space, it feels like a resort, feels like an escape, but it feels focused, it feels thoughtful, it feels intentional. That seems to be the theme here in Everly. Every builder cohesively came together and put a real thoughtful plan together what our clients are looking for, what do they need, what have we tried before, what's tried and true, and they put it all together in this beautiful, focused, absolutely amazing amenity center. Right here, if you peek through these gates, you'll see it's that events lawn, it's that runway, it's where you can host the wedding, where they possibly bring food trucks, vendors, but that's also a good entrance and exit for you so you don't have to go through that social gathering hall but it's a beautiful entryway very got got the la vibe with the turf and the and the flooring and the shell stone mixed in together but here again they went with that narrowing of the passage with beautiful landscaping on both sides that makes you feel like you're in a tropical escape and then they open it back up into that common area what you see here is a focused gathering space very focused for socializing you'll see again with the transition of the tiles it gives you direction it gives you a sense of orientation now as soon as you walk in here you notice that this, these beautiful cabanas and gazebos absolutely beautiful with the pergola on this side you have an outdoor kitchen a gas grill catering space lounge area they even have these beautiful lights in here so you kind of have that indoor outdoor feel but there is some something tasteful something focused something very warm about this space on the opposite end here you have a fire pit area again with beautiful stonework up along the wall with those white and gray hues but they're not blinding and again the furniture very coastal very tasteful very much you feel like you're at a resort but also you could be in a, com in a comfy living room or even your backyard but then as we walk down here you have a better angle this beautiful walkway lined with the palm trees I feel like I'm walking through a five-star resort 
Here, here's a little bit of playfulness with the string lights. You could be in any backyard space, but this is where they're gonna have their cornhole tournaments, some benching on the side here. This is a great place to socialize, burn off those calories after a long day at the barbecue. But then you make your way over here, and this is a true testament that this place is meant to relax, but it's meant for your multi-generational neighborhood. You can see here, you have the sand, you have the hammocks. This is a place where you lay out, you'll have fun. As you can see in indication, the kids have been here. They're already building, building sand castles, honing in their skills, getting ready for that 15, 20 minute drive over to the beautiful beaches that surround us. So they're gonna be fully prepared to build that exceptional sand sculpture. But this thing has so much to offer. This is just half of it. We're about to go explore the rest of this incredible neighborhood. The, I mean, sorry, excuse me, the rest of this incredible amenity center and show you why this place is truly state of the art. Now we're gonna swing around here. What I truly like about these are these focal islands that they've created with all of this landscaping. Each area has its own focal point, its own feature its own vibe. Let's go explore the rest of this amazing amenity center. I tell you folks, this pool is something special. This whole amenity center. I don't know if I've ever had this feeling before. You know, we've been in a lot of amenity centers. We go to all the neighborhoods, but this one, I truly, truly feel like I'm at a resort. The only thing that even comes close to this is Island Walk, their main amenity center. But this one is such a higher class finishes. Everything about this is just it's incredible. I'm really, I'm, I'm moved by this place, to be honest with you, but let's get into the details. Like Lanier said, very purposeful open spaces, but here, look, we have 22 separate lounge chairs, so when you wanna come and lay by the pool, you have plenty of room to do it, but they're not bunched together. Because this is so open, you know, you have plenty of room. It's not like you're bunched right up against your the neighbor at, a, at an amenity center that might have, you know, a hundred of these lounge chairs. This one, they've taken, you know, they keep it very poignant and they only decided, you know, what 22 is more than enough given the size of this neighborhood. Let's continue around and look at this amazing pool that we have behind us. You have a walk-in entry, this is the main entry into the pool, goes down to three to four feet and then you can get into, this is, you know, it's, I would consider this the lap lane area. There are no defined lines or anything, but if you're somebody who wants to swim, this is easily, easily probably a 30 yard, you know, 30 meter at least, maybe even more than that. It's just a huge space. These water fountains, you know, imagine you decide to set up shop over here on this side, your sun's coming down, you have the pool just steps away from you, and that calm water sound in the background, it's serene as can be. Again, much like a spa or that five-star resort that you've visited before, this place has it. Now look behind me. One of the things that I love about this is they pick the location perfectly. It looks out over this huge lake. I bet you this is easily 80 or 90 acre lake. It's enormous. Nobody can really see you because the houses that they've built here are far enough away. So you still have that intimacy, that nice feeling that you want when you come to your pool area. Check this out. This is gonna be the hot spot come the winter. This is where this faces due west. So sunsets are gonna be right there over the lake every single day because you know we do get 300 days of sun. So that means you're gonna get pretty much 300 awesome sunsets. So real intimate area, you can come down here, bring the kids, just relax, you know, send the kids over to the sandy area. They can play for a bit while parents have that adult beverage or mocktail and just come down here and relax. I love these big kind of bed type chairs they've put on the, at the edge of the pool. So if you're somebody who just wants to take a nap right beside the pool and then pop in when you wake up, you're steps away, literally steps away from everything. Let's continue on this side. They have some incredible features over here. It starts with these nice cabanas, covered cabanas that have a, one of those big round beds in it so that you can he come here, bring your lunch, make a day of it because you have a nice shady spot. One of the things that I like that they did is they have these artificial grass areas. So if you wanted to lay your towel down and you want to do a little sunbathing, you can do that here without being, you know, and but you also have the nice option so you can go in the cool area in that shaded cabana so you can just relax and spend the day sipping a cocktail again you know my theme sipping that cocktail and then do it. number two cabana number two and then cabana number three all the way down i got something special that you have to see and that is this hot tub look how big this thing is easily you can get a dozen people in there you want to talk about party showers this is a party spa no doubt about it 
plenty of room for everybody. You're not gonna feel like you're too crowded, you're too close to that person. You'll still have plenty of space. Let's talk about the second building down here. It's right behind us and we have, this is the amenity center. This is where you're gonna have your fitness center and they have a great movement center. They also have a nice yoga lawn outside that's extended from the fitness uh, or the, the movement studio. So it's just a great, great place that down here. Everything about this amenity center is top notch. They spared no expense. They did it right and you're really gonna love it. So I think that's it for the amenities center. It's an incredible spot. You guys have to come down here and check it out. When you're down here next time, give us a call. We'll be happy to come and check out all the builders. And shoot, if you just want to check out this amenity center, we'll come down and show you just that. All right, well, let's get back to with Lanier and we'll wrap this video up. All right, folks, so we've checked out everything about this beautiful state-of-the-art amenity center. I'm absolutely in love with this. What do you think, Caleb? I'll tell you, just everything about this thing is incredible and it's just opened, you know? So think about all of these palm trees that are out here that are just opening up. Give it time, folks. They're gonna open up and now you're gonna have double the shade that you have here currently. It's just an, an amazing place. What's your favorite part about it? <laughs> the whole thing. Every single bit, <laughs> every single bit of it, whether it's the pool, the lap lane area, the barbecue, there's that outdoors rest, the seating area. They're going to have a TV there eventually, so you're just going to be able to chill out. What about a putt and chipping range in your daggone neighborhood? How many neighborhoods have that that are non-golf community? Every bit of this place. You what know, about you? I'm kind of equally torn. I love that inside those cathedral ceilings it really makes it feel very homey it feels like an extension of any home in this neighborhood i can see myself feeling like that's an extension of my living room but equally there's something about the way this whole layout is we say it all the time that it's resort style pool resort style amenities but this it looks like they took all the thoughtfulness of a high-end resort and incorporated it all in this beautiful footprint from the beautiful hues, the mature landscaping, those narrow passages, the wide openings. They really thought about everyone, every generation. This is truly one of the best amenity centers, if not the best in all of Welland Park. Now, when you talk about amenity center, you're probably thinking of all the extra things and ciliary things like tennis courts and pickleball courts. We do have those pickleball courts. We're absolutely we stunning. Them right there. Haven't seen a single person on them. So if you want to play pickleball in this neighborhood, wide open. But the, the, the truth is, is that these amenity centers are supposed to be complimentary, especially in a neighborhood like Everly, where most of these homes are going to have their own swimming pools. This is truly meant to be that social fabric, that social hub, an escape from your home, a great place to have a party, a barbecue, just, a wedding. Just the inside space in here. I'm sure there's going to be some incredible evening get-togethers, whether you're cooking in that kitchen, cooking out on the barbecue, but there's the, just the space inside. It's enormous, plenty of room for, I, you could easily get 100 people in there, and that's pretty much half the neighborhood. So it's going to be amazing. So guys, we cover this neighborhood all the time, and oftentimes we get confused that we work for the builder. Killer and I actually do not work for the builder. We're an independent realtor team that we're here to help you. Whether you're buying, we help you connect those dots and find that dream home, or whether you're considering selling, we help tell the story of your home and help you move on to that next chapter but we are well seasoned we are real estate experts in this market from Sarasota on down in Naples we help people buy move sell all the time and we want to help you a quick recap of this neighborhood we got this four builders we have West Bay bringing in those beautiful semi custom homes with the amazingly focused kitchens Neil's signature with their timeless appeal we have Lee Weatherington one of our favorite builders one of our favorite communicators bringing in the French Polynesian coastal themes but they're fully customizable and then bringing rounding it up it's John Cannon John Cannon probably our favorite builder at the moment right now just they have builds all over this area whether you want to live up in the Lakewood Ranch area or you want to live down here in Welland in Everly they've got builds going all over the place and they even build on your lot so if you're somebody who bought a beachfront lot and you never thought about John Cannon as a builder they do that they have a whole coastal series that they'll build custom homes just for you. And to put things in perspective, because we cover neighborhoods from here all the way up to Sarasota, a lot of times we're getting compared with the newer builds. So sometimes people are forcing it to be apples for apples, like Wild Blue versus Welland Park. Welland Park is truly an exceptional proposition. Remember, it's 20,000 acres, fully developed, 
with a lot of beautiful conservatory and all of those 20,000 acres is golf cart friendly. So whether you're driving through your neighborhood here or you want to head downtown to the ballpark, to the restaurants, or just take a leisurely ride all around those 20,000 acres, you certainly can do so. Yeah, and when you come down to Welland Park, you're not that far from everything. Most people, they, they think about Lakewood Ranch first when they think about coming down here because it's a little bit more established. But once you get up there, most of Lakewood Ranch is really busy. It's dense. It's, you know, pop. There's a lot of traffic. Now they're expanding down into Southern Lakewood Ranch. That's where Wild Blue and Kingfisher Estates, that's where they are. But then when you're here down in Welland Park, the beautiful thing about it is you're 15 minutes away from the beach. You can't get that up in Lakewood Ranch. You just simply can't. You have Sarasota pretty much right in between you and the beach. So if you want to go to the beach, you got to cross through Sarasota and then finally get to the beach. So you're looking at a 30, 45, maybe even more than that, depending on the time of the year. But here in Welland Park, 15 minutes down to the beach, two separate beaches. You can go to Inglewood, Minnesota Beach, a couple more minutes and you can go all of the beaches up in, in Venice. But there's just, you're still close to Sarasota. So, you know, it, Venice is a little bit of a sleepy town still. That cl restaurants close a little bit early. But if you're looking for that nightlife that you want to just go out and enjoy yourself, Sarasota is only 45 minutes away, so there's tons of stuff to do up there. You want to stay up till 2 o'clock in the morning? No problem. Sarasota's got all everything to offer. <laughs> but that's not really the style of Venice. Venice is, you know, a little bit sleepy town, kind of. It's changing. It's growing. But, you know, things close a little bit early. What my partner is saying, essentially, is that lifestyle is subjective. Yeah. We say it all the time. So if you're looking for hustle and bustle and all the commercial amenities of Sarasota, you're not giving that up moving down here to Venice, Florida and Northport respectively. You're actually getting the best of both worlds. You're getting brand new state-of-the-art facilities, custom and semi-custom home builders. This neighborhood is only about 240 plus homes. So it's a small footprint so you can still have that intimacy of a smaller neighborhood without feeling like it's bursting at the seams, but you're not giving up any luxury. You're not giving up any convenience. And if you want to make that hop, skip, and jump to Lakewood Ranch, we're more than happy to help guide you through that process. So if something in this video, if Everly and Welland Park, if this amenity center really speaks to you, if the Venice, Florida, Sarasota surrounding areas speak to you, what do they have to do to get a hold of us? They have to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, or schedule that Zoom. That gives you the opportunity to ask us all the questions that you may have about the area, and it gives us a chance to really meet you. So folks, we've covered it all from this beautiful neighborhood to this 12 million state-of-the-art amenity center, to the ancillary beaches, to everything that surrounds this area. We are here waiting for your phone call to help you get through this whole process fluidly, seamlessly, and with a smile. So I guess we've covered it all. I guess that's it. So for this week in Venice, Florida, I am Caleb. And I'm Lanier. And we'll see you next week. Have a good one, everybody. Take care.